Hey guys, it's JFCubing. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Q&A. So prior to reaching this awesome milestone of 200 subscribers, I asked you guys to leave me some questions down in the comments, so today I'm going to be answering them. Before we get started though, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, let's try to get to 300 subscribers by the end of the month. But with that out of the way, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so how long have I been cubing for and how did I start my YouTube channel? So I've been cubing for around two years, then I average uh, 12 to 13 seconds on 3x3. Three three. And uh, as for my YouTube channel, I actually wanted to start my channel about a year ago. However, I just never really got around to doing it. Uh, I did make a few videos and edit them and everything, but they are not on YouTube and I don't think they ever will be. But around three months ago, I actually started thinking about starting my channel again. And this time I got really serious about it. I wrote a channel plan and goal and right away started writing down ideas for videos. I was taking this very seriously and once I finally got the okay from my parents to start a channel, I got started with getting equipment, getting a good editor, and actually doing a bunch of research to figure out how I can optimize my videos for people to find them and basically just create a plan for my channel's growth. All right, so this next one is, what is your main NPB for 3x3? So currently I use the Moyu Weilong GTS 3M. Uh, it's just been really reliable for me and I really enjoy doing solves on it. I've been switching back and forth between this cube and other cubes. And I think right about now is the perfect time for a new main because this is kind of dying on me a little bit. Uh, my 3x3 PB is actually 5.72 seconds and I actually have a video on that. So if you want to go check it out, I'll leave the link in the description as well as a card in the top so you can go check it out. All right, so this next one is a lot of questions. What's your favorite 3x3? What are your top five favorite WCA events? What is your favorite lubricant? And what is your favorite aspect of being a YouTuber? I don't know why that sounds so weird saying out loud. So my favorite 3x3 might be a bit of a surprise to you because I have a video complaining about it and it's actually the Gan X. So the video wasn't exactly to say that the cube kind of sucked or it's not a good cube. Um, it is definitely a very good cube. It's just I don't perform as well on it uh, due to the fact that it's a little bit unstable. But the feeling you get is just so awesome. Like it just feels really pleasant to turn. And I think that's why it's my favorite. It just feels so premium. It's just not so good for my turning style and I don't perform the best on it. As for my top five favorite WCA events, number five, I'd probably say like two by two, just because it's like, it's a super fast event. It's not really too hard to get good at. And it's overall just really fun to do. Coming in at number four, I would probably say four by four, just because it's like a step up from three by three. There's a little more to it to solve the puzzle. I just find that I don't enjoy practicing it as much as other events, but it is still really fun. So for number three, I would probably say 5x5. Five five. This is probably gonna change. It's just right now I am not too great at 5x5. Five five. While I do enjoy the event, it's just not so fun for me because it's a bit time consuming. So for number two, we have Skub. Um, <laughs> this is a little bit of a shocker. Uh, I know I don't do a whole lot of Skub on my channel, but the event honestly is really fun. I didn't really like it at all too much until, you know, I got the X-Man wingy and then I started like getting into the event and then I realized how much fun the event actually is, uh, especially once you get a little bit faster at it. That's probably why I put it at number two because it's just one of the most fun events to practice in my opinion. And number one shouldn't come as a surprise. We have three by three. Um, just because this is the event that started it all, and it's it's a pretty fast event as well. There's just an infinite amount of stuff to learn for 3x3, and I just enjoy it because it was the very first thing I learned how to solve, and it's the most fun for me to practice and get better at. What is my favorite lubricant? I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I have a few favorites which I use together, but I don't really have a number one. In my setups, I just really like to use Silk, DNM, and Compound 10 with weight 5, and those together just make a really awesome combination and works well in pretty much every puzzle. 
Um, my favorite aspect to being a YouTuber would probably be doing two things I love at once. That would be cubing and making videos. Putting those two together are just an absolute joy for me to do, and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do YouTube. Not only that, but also I feel like it gets me more connected in the cubing community, and I think it's really awesome to be sharing that same interest with others, and really just talking with other people about it, it just feels really good. Have I gotten any new cubes lately? So no, I haven't. I haven't done an unboxing since I reached 100 subscribers. So that was quite a long time ago and I'm actually planning on getting some new cubes very soon. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. So who is my favorite cuber? Uh, I'd probably have to say Max Park. That's just because ever since I started cubing, I've always really looked up to him and he's just been a huge inspiration for me to get faster uh, at any event. It doesn't matter whether it's 3x3, 5x5, whatever. Plus if you take a look at his story, how cubing changed his life, uh, Chris Olsen actually made a short documentary on that and I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't already. It's just really amazing to hear and Max Park is pretty much my hero when it comes to cubing. If you could pick any cube company to sponsor you, which one would it be and why? So definitely the cubicle, 1000%. I buy all my cubes from there and they just have a really awesome service and I would definitely want to support them and promote their brand. If I were to promote any brand, it would definitely be them. Uh, what editor do I use? I currently use Shotcut to edit my videos. I think it does just fine for editing and it's actually pretty simple to use. What other hobbies do you have besides cubing? So other than cubing, I also enjoy skateboarding. So here's a few clips from that. And I also enjoy playing the violin. Uh, I don't know if you would really call that a hobby though. I'm not sure. And uh, playing basketball. Are bananas underrated? Um, this is a really interesting question that honestly I would think I would see on a Q&A from Dana Yi. I, I don't know why, she's the one that always gets these questions. Um, yes, I guess. I, I love bananas, but I know there's a lot of people that don't. I don't know. Is this the question? Bruh. Why is your channel name JF Cubing? Is your real name Jeff? JF are my initials. And my real name is not Jeff, it's Jacob. <laughs> Alright, so those are all the questions for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 300 subscribers, so definitely be sure to help me out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright guys, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!